Hey guys and welcome back. Today I am going over the early access hotfix number 12 for Dark and Darker. So let's just jump right into it. From the top we have fixed several issues that could cause server instability. So this is really nice. The servers have been having a lot of issues. So I'm really glad that Iron Mace is addressing this by letting us know that hey we are trying to fix these issues. So really glad to see this. Next we have characters level 14 and under will be placed in a separate matching pool. If any member of a party is level 15 or above, the entire party will be placed in the level 15 plus matching pool. This is great news for characters that are under level 15. This is great news for new players in general. I'm really happy to see this change. Hopefully this will address some of the problems a lot of players are facing, especially when going up against... Uh, very heavy meta comps that are over gearing in low roller dungeons. So hopefully this change will show uh, some significant improvements to gameplay, mostly for new players in this instance. Next, we have the level requirement to sign up for the trading post has been increased from level 10 to 15. This is to coincide, I would imagine, with the previous change in the patch notes. Um, I also hope this curbs the RMT problem more, you know, make RMTers have more trouble trying to sell gold in the game and there's also a change later on in the patch notes that kind of addresses this rmt slash cheater issue i'm really happy to see this but i would love to just see the trading post just completely uh, redone and turned into an auction house having trading be based on a live chat system with filters that don't work it's it's a very shoddy system and it just needs to be replaced entirely which i'm sure it will in the future Next, we have fixed an issue where the Dark Swarm Circle would mostly end in the center region of the map. So this is going to give us more variety when we're playing in dungeons. We're going to see parts of the map that we usually don't visit or can't visit because it's outside of the circle too fast or too quickly. So I'm looking forward to that. Next, we have Wizard's Invisibility Duration has been increased from 3 to 4 seconds. And Wizard's Haste Duration has been increased from 6 to 8 seconds. I do think the sledgehammer like nerfs against wizard was a bit much but at the same time i feel like the nerfs were aimed at the wrong parts of what was wrong with the uh, buff ball meta and if you're not familiar with the buff ball meta i'll end up making a video on it covering it but in layman terms it was essentially a composition that you could play that relied on stacking a ton of buffs in order to make yourselves extremely fast attack extremely fast be extremely durable heal like it was just insanely broken and a lot of the nerfs that came recently were to attack that meta um moving on added an option to control whether items in the following utility slots are automatically placed in your hand after an item is used i'm really happy to see this because it was driving me crazy to uh, be hiding in the dark or be somewhere that wasn't very well lit to use a bandage to use a potion and then my character whips a torch out automatically and it reveals where i'm at to other players uh, that was a really bad game design just in general and that was getting me killed and found out way sooner than it needed to be so i'm really glad that they finally addressed this you know thank you so much and then finally we have improvements to iron shield and if you're not familiar with what iron shield is iron shield is iron maces cheat detection and anti-cheat system in their game so i'm glad to see that they are very much firmly taking a hard stance against cheaters and rmts and you know that's honestly a first for a game dev studio in this day and age so i'm really happy to just see that in general um let's go ahead and read the developer comments and kind of get an insight on why they made these changes and you know where they're going to be taking us into the future so they said, we have decided to try out a separate matching pool for players under level 15 to give them a little more time to learn and adjust to game prior to engaging with the trading post, which I agree, that's a very smart change. We have also adjusted the minimal level required to open the trading post feature from level 10 to 15 to sync with this new matchmaking system. I feel like this is going to be a little problematic for new players because going from 1 to 15 based solely on what your merchants are giving you, that's going to be tough for some people. Some people are going to want to play a wizard and only use a spell book, but since they can only use a spell book, they're either going to have to have players drop them in items every time they start, or they're going to you're going to force them to play a certain way that they don't want to play. In my opinion, if you want to fix the trading post issue, the trading post needs to be reworked. It doesn't need to be a live chat. It needs to be an auction house. That would fix a lot of RMT issues. 
that would fix a lot of spam issues. Just do an auction house, guys. It's it's a way better system. Moving on, they say we also realize we may have gone too far with the recent nerfs to the wizard spells and have slightly increased the duration of the haste and invisibility spells. The bard rework and more significant class balance changes are still planned for a future update. I think, in my opinion, and I'll just go ahead and kind of give my thoughts real quick, but I'll go into depth more and probably in another video about this. But if you wanted to solve the buff meta, what you should have done is you should have lowered the amount of songs that bards can take in to a, a minimum of five instead of having two sheets where they could play up to 10. And then for wizard, if you wanted to solve that issue, you should have allowed their spells to be self buff only. That would have immediately solved the buff ball, uh, buff ball meta in my opinion. So that's just my take. And then they go on to say, finally, we discovered a bug with our Dark Swarm logic that caused most circles to end in the central region of the maps, resulting in many battles being concentrated in a few repetitive modules. We hope this hotfix should expand the play stage a little bit. We are also working on adding more layouts with more variety of center modules in the near future. And that's where the patch notes end. So let me know what you think, guys. Obviously, I think this was a very good you know hot fix in my opinion i'm really excited to see what they're going to do in the future obviously if you like the content that i'm making and you like supporting me and with me supporting dark and darker you know please subscribe leave a comment leave a like all of it helps i've also opened up my membership features on my channel so if you want to go that little extra more in helping me that's awesome if all you want to do is just view the video that's fine with me too anything works for me um but anyway guys Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.